ladies and gents, Ms. Abugalo Home Grown on DSTV Channel 263. And if you guys at home, you want to be here on the stage, or you want to perform, or any of your songs to play on the show, please simply email us at music at capetowntv.org. And if you want to call us, you can call us on 021-448-0448. We love hearing from you as well. Don't be scared. Yes. Don't be scared, guys. But we have two fabulous guests in studio and I'm very, very excited. Yes. Can you tell me just off the bat, who are you guys and what do you do? Yes. Okay. Hello guys. Um, thank you for having us on, yes. the, on the studio. My name is Tandu Paul of Tigenepi. And I'm Nobula Ali Kenyana. So in short, as Umzito Namzala Production, right, what we do, we do photo shoots, we do podcasts, we're doing sh short films. And also what we do, we go on the streets and also we get unexperienced extras just to get them in the videos so that they can also gain experience and take their acting um, journey forward. Yes. Yes. So I want to ask about the name Umzito Umzala because it's basically the same name. It means the same thing. Umzet, Umzito, Umzala. Why Umzito and, and, and Umzala? How did the whole thing come about? Um, this thing of Umzito Nomzala is quite a very easy thing, right? Yes. Um, I remember I was asked by a high school teacher to assist someone that was busy helping those children um, with acting because there was going to be a competition. Yes. Then two boys decided to approach me and say, Hey, Putuam, we like how you're doing this thing. We saw you performing yeah. in your introduction. So we want you to help us with our acting journey. Yes. And they said, um, can you please come up with a nice name? They thought I would come up with an English nice name that will look fancy. I just said, boys, it's easy. Mm. You are Mzito and you are Zala. This is easy. Mzito and <laughs> Zala production. That's, that's how the name came up here. So many people think that it's him who is Mzito yeah, and Mzala, <laughs> because Mzala means a cousin, yes. but it's not like that. As he explained, it's, it's that thing that he had yes. way back. Okay, so I, I that's good to clarify. Yeah, right? yeah because <laughs> even Richard was like, okay, here's Mzito, here's Mzala. <laughs> but now, I want to ask with your relationship, guys, because I believe you guys met at church, mm -hmm. and Ukhredman, you make music also, and you go by the name Ukristo. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about that, because you did uh, mention that with E, the way you do Ukuluwako, you combine acting and music, some sort of like, like high, because I said it a little when we were having a high school musical, <laughs> where you're performing, but why are you doing acting? How did the whole thing of um, where the boys actually saw you doing that and got inspired? Um, the way I became um, Mzito Nomzal, right? I told you how it came. Fisto was a musician, right? Yes. But as a musician, I just decided that to stop it because I kind of like sucked in music. <laughs> I was a good like writer, music. right? But yes. I don't have the voice to do it. Okay. And then what happened is that there was Chisa Talent back in the days, and there were competition. I always went to Chisa Talent, but I never won. I never went to the second round. Yeah. But the founder, the CEO of Chisa Talent, always told me, Stuart Palmer, always tell me, you got it, you got it. And one day he said to me, since you say you are not good in singing, yeah. but you're a great actor, how about you just combine the two? Yeah. I was like, oh, that's nice. Uh. But... I went there and I auditioned whereby I was singing, right? And yeah. I was also yeah. acting, but I never went to the second round. But that didn't stop me, yes. you know? So that is when I decided, you know what, it's fine. If they think that I can't do it. I was listening to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger was saying that if people said to him that there was never an actor as a bodybuilder, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. motivated him that he was going to be the first one. And yeah. I said, you know what? If these people think that they can't be an actor and a singer in the same time doing the same thing, then I will be the first one to do it. Then they just create my own thing and then just grow up and then motivate the others that are out there that if people saying that you can't do it because they don't understand your vision of the thing, yeah. just do it yourself. So I believe you asked us about how we manage our friendship as we are yes. friends and partners yes, as well. Exactly so yeah, we've met at church as you said, but we decided that now that we are business partners, we must not be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we must just keep it like that. Hate one another. Yes. <laughs> 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 we must do that because we know that where those things end up. You've so got to have set boundaries. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we're just partners, not friends. But he's my brother, and, and I'm his sister. 
<laughs> okay, one thing I must say, I like the honesty way he said that he came to a stage where he realized when it comes to music, he didn't force things and be like, I, I yeah. can't do it. He saw that, okay, this one is not for me, but how do I find a way to tackle around this? Yes. Yeah, because you even mentioned with Arnold Schwarz, he's running, he, the last time I checked, he's running for a mayor. Yeah, I he's think he's a, a politician now. <laughs> but I love that you mentioned that as well, because it's such a point, right? You watched an, Amer like an American, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's now talking about how, you know, he's motivating himself to do something and he's inspiring you and others. So you motivating yourself to do something else mm -hmm. and in turn you're inspiring others that are watching you. I'm sure there's people at home right now that are watching you guys mm -hmm. and going like, oh damn, you know, two, two full creatives sitting on TV, sitting in studio. What kind of, what's your day to day like? You know, what's that creative process like with different projects? Um, that is very simple, but thank you so much for that question. You know, this thing of um, doing your own thing, sometimes it also clashes with your day-to-day -day job. Yeah. Mm. That is what is happening to me right now, whereby I'm like, I need to be at work, and I also need to attend interviews because I still need to keep my baby alive, whereas I also need to keep my day-to-day -day job alive. So with that, you just need to make sure that you separate the two. Mm. Yes. And you don't um, come up with something that is going to confuse the two. You understand that you have a day job to do, mm. and you also understand that you have this hassle to do. So it just means that you just need to keep your focus and make sure you know what you want. Mm. Yes. And also need to understand where are you now. Yes. That is what makes me, I, I know where I am now. I know what I'm doing now. I know what is the next step. I know where I'm coming from. Mm. So that is what separates my day-to-day -day life, yeah. I think that is such a, you know, it's such a good, realistic yeah, approach yeah. to being a creative. With that, I have to say goodbye to you guys. Unfortunately, we have to wrap up. Yeah. But guys, next up we have a music video.